Good morning guys and welcome to iPod Smart. Another day at another dollar. Uh, so let's have a look. Today we are racing from Gravel and it is good going. A little bit of a wind, 17 kilometers an hour, a little bit of rain, 0.5 millimeters loss, 24 hours and 12 millimeters the last seven days. So nothing really to be too fussed about. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of notes for today. Let's just have a look at some track notes here. Um, have a real good look at the red horses in case they didn't, especially those Joker red owner trainer and even more so the Raiders from other provinces. Take into consideration amount of merit rating it has dropped recently when it never lost form. The bigger the merit rating drop, the bigger the threat in case it in also start not lose, does not lose form. So that's uh, one thing to consider in the KZN and if you click by a race um, then you'll have all these notes on a race by race basis if you click on horse you'll only have the horse notes and uh, if you click on jockey you'll only have the jockey notes and the trainer is the trainer notes or all of them if you prefer all of them so yeah on the horse we've only got uh, dawn mission dawn mission and captain of the green and on the 7th of August, we said, watch next time. The double was on for Gareth von Sale, but Yeri got it wrong. And passed everyone only 50 meters past the post. Will win soon. And then Dawn Mission seems to have lost in intentionally when odds on favorite. Blinkers fitted after it was clear that the pacifiers doesn't work. Uh, okay. So, let's get going. In the first, we do start with a Raider in the form of Clinton Binder's only runner for the day with Calvin Habib on. And Calvin Habib has a 100% place record for Clinton Binder off for the track. But uh, yeah, not so much uh, the win we are looking for for a 7 to 10 favorite. We've had 58 P stats races, and of those 58, the highest percentage goes to total with curve. That's the total with the bum roll and the, bum and the bat curve. So 38% chance to win on that for the Gravel 1200 Class G, based on those 58 races. And uh, top rated to place, we have the highest here, 70% on line bet, on the line bet horse, 70% um, of the time placing in the top three, and in the top four, 90% of the time in the top four from those 58 races. Um, <clears throat> so, there's no value for Utombo Wolwazi, which immediately leads me to think that something else is uh, is a better value maybe at an each way price and for that reason I've gone with Paris Pike now Paris Pike is one of only three from Robbie Hill and uh, Robbie Hill is a hot trainer you'll see the little hot sign next to him and he does get Gertsen on again today with the two and a half Apiclam from a nice three draw with the highest median speed and uh, over the 1200 again now uh, this 1200 Scottsdale was in yielding conditions so that 60.1 was in yielding conditions and he did do much better on the Scottsdale 1000 on 58.71 uh, the next time out and that gave him a lovely bet of 7.9 which is nowhere close to this one run of Utombo Walwazi but given he only did it that one run over the 1200 he was backed in 16 to 12 and uh, 1.97 uh, don't know if that's consistent that's his, how he's going to be now or if it's going to run as well today moving back to gravel again uh, the last time at gravel poly he failed and uh, ran 12th and a terrible 23 but maybe he didn't like the poly so uh, if he can run this 1.97 he's definitely the, the winner um, the question is really if he can do that. Um, so, from a betting perspective, for me, that's just no value in it. And hence, I am also saying Paris Pike must have some kind of a chance with a 7.9 year. I'm DB Gerson at retaining the right. And then, can't catch me uh, 1200 with Moodley on board, backed from 25 into 12. Uh, the adjusted time wasn't all that great. So, um, the 10.34 bat which is a little bit behind Paris Pike uh, 
quite a few first timers in this race as well uh, this future approach does not have to be brilliant to be winning this so uh, yeah for me I think if it's a true run race and Utombo will was he runs the same as he did on this 1200 ball he will win it but I can't trust that from a being 16 to 1 the last time and 7 to 1 and 20 to 1 the times before that uh, in this race yeah I can't trust that another one to look at is Eugene and now his one run or 1200 Scottsville was not very great considering it was a uh, uh, 60.49 11 links behind the winner but he was at 4.5 and uh to 5 to 1 on debut and that's way better than the rest of the field that has raced so he'll probably show improvement and also be there about but uh yes given the 7.9 figure year that was on the thousand granted the 1200 figure year also in yielding a little bit better 60.1 adjusted time and uh versus the 60.49 and uh, yeah, D.B. Gerson did better with that with the 7.9. I'm saying the bit of a roughie for me is Paris Pike. If there is anyone challenging Umpombo while Wazi with Can't Catch Me and Eugene and maybe the first time of future approach. Moving on to the second race. And uh, yeah, we have 58p stats as well. We have a 38 as well. So it's the same distance and the same class and the same course, of course. Total points is quite high on aggressivo 93 versus second best is 61. So it seems like those two are very strong with the next points only at 31. Quite a bit of difference there. Uh, so let's have a little bit further look at it, shall we? So Alison Wright only has the two runners for the day. Rachel Venecker gets the ride here, takes the one and a half kilos off and puts blinkers on as well. And has the best bat CD form for this exact 1200 gravel. So that's definitely going to be my first choice. Uh, if I look a little bit more into the detail, yeah, the 38p stats is also aggressive on aggressivo, and the, the global dollar is the 1.5 uh, favorite. But yeah, judging on the detail, I see this 1200 Scottsville year opened at 12 to 1 drifted to 33 to 1 so i'm not quite sure how we can justify that now to go into a 15 to 10 except if it's a collection for a bookie uh, so that 559.3 was really decent considering um, but it was a 55 and a half kilos it carried today it carries 60 so it's four and a half kilos he has to carry more and uh, yeah, there was no support on his first two runs. He does get Serena Moodley on now. That's got uh, a decent stable jockey for Michael Miller. He's only got two for the day. But he's no superstar judging on his first two runs as his betting suggests 40 and 33 to 1. So I could suggest that we should be beating him. And uh, with what uh, is the first question? My choice is Aggressivo, and that's purely because he got serious support from 8 into 3.75 on his last run, and uh, he got a decent 59.89 adjusted time, and he also does have the best bat CD 6.98 on debut when he wasn't the superstar either, uh, drifted to 20 to 1, but did run a decent bat figure on debut to uh, consider. So. I'm going to go with Alison Wright and Rachel Vinegar, the woman, po woman power in the first year. Some very decent 9 and 63 win plays on the jockey percentage as well. With the, uh, how shall I say it, intent shown by putting blinkers on, putting the epiclam on, and uh, making the improvement on the back trigger on its last run. So, yeah, and having the one Gravel 1200 under the belt. Aggressivo is my first choice. Global dollar, that 1200 Scottsville was uh, decent enough, um, but DB Gerson is not there anymore now. It's Serena Moodley and the four and a half kilos extra, thanks to that. So I'm not quite sure if he is worthy of his 15 to 10 status. I might be proven wrong. Kashkaval is another runner that I would be looking at, but he wasn't a superstar either on debut 40 to 1, little bit of support to 33 to 1, good batter 4.04. Patel goes off and Aris goes on and Aris has a 75% place record here so Kashkaval should be in the mix as well. 
and then the next best would be time to meditate mowing he does have a really strong one for the same kacheri in the end here and that 33 into 16 was a really good support yielding going didn't do very well 12 lengths here but that uh, just the time with the lengths and the kilogram shift does give him a decent enough 7.18 batch not too far away from these others so yeah he could upset at 14 to 1 with uh, the joker for way of mowing as well there could have been a, bit, a little bit more from the horse the last time that they haven't showed yet uh, and now he gets a bit of draw from four so those four for me is uh, from the race runners then yeah the first timers doesn't have to be superstars to win this either so look for support on the first timers i can't see these two being anywhere my choice aggressivo is my first choice with uh, yeah mix up between global dollar and kashkaval and then time to mediate or meditate and then the first timers moving on to the third and yeah interesting that gareth on sale has a uh, joker here with green chili but also has uh Muzigeni booked showing the intentions on zinakele and then we also have carl hewitson here on uh, Act of Mercy with intent on Serena Moodley, and we have Michael Roberts with Rachel Vinica from a, a good back figures here on Fabulous, and we have Michael Roberts here at the bottom with Lengua, and also showing some serious bat C form here on the bat curve at the 33 to 1. So, a few question marks for me in this race. I'll start off with the P stats 60% P stats, 1400 meters class G. We've done 60 of them. And 43% of those does come from the favorite. So the favorite is almost to be trusted. And at 2 to 1, uh, at 43% of the time, uh, you'll probably like make a little bit of money. But yeah, it's no strong favorite for, for, for me. Uh, there's a few question marks to be answered, such as the, the coming back, back from a rest. But let's just have a little bit of a look into the detail. So this is a 1400 gravel turf form and a uh, huge improvement on the second run after jp did get support on the first run and no one expected it to then really do well because it didn't do well the first time it almost shocked everyone by winning the second time 1.15 behind the winner with the best bat figure yeah and that was on the turf as well looking at act of mercy there is a turf run of 15 and another turf run of 11 yeah um, and then some more at the bottom here for shorter distances, 1,000, 1,100, 3.3, 1.09, and 7.7. .7. Almost seems to me that Active Mercy will be battling at the end. It's a little bit shorter. It would have had a, a better chance. Then Fabulous has a really good uh, improvement on the poly, on that bat figure on the poly form. But looking at his cross form is 25 and 20, which is uh, not as good uh so yeah that zero was on grass for green chili as well and then the interesting one in the pack for me is maybe zinakele because he did get a little bit of support here as well he was a uh, yielding 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 he wasn't too far off and he does have a 1400 under his belt where he's actually improved and got the support 16 into 12 uh, best speed rating on that as well he got the 1187 uh, bat figure on that run over the 1400 meters so a little bit of a potential for me to challenge his stable mate green chili uh, so that would be my second choice green chili and then zinakele and then uh, probably look at fabulous and act of mercy and uh, telio with keegan the mielo yeah now taking the ride for the first time has a 50% win and 50% place with Robbie Hill so yeah I'll be looking at how Telio uh, does or how uh, Robbie Hill does on his first runner for the day in the first Paris Pike before I might have a little bit of interest in this little Telio yeah because it also is also a joker Mr. Robbie Hill uh, name pops up there and uh, second run back from his little rest and uh, yeah 3.4 behind the winner in yielding conditions uh, he potentially now does a little bit better on the grass today others that uh, 
shows a little bit of potential is that Sayulita shows a little bit of potential on the poly year 4.27 bat but then the 1400 gravel goes to the best 17 uh, but 17 is not really good so yeah Ungeni at the bottom there was no support there but it wasn't all that far off on the bat figures and Pixie in Love wasn't all that far off on the bat figures either but very far off on the list on the distance first time is no no betting support here at the moment so yeah uh, for me it's the race for Gareth Van Sale to win whether he'll win with green chili or with Zinekele remains to be seen others to consider is fabulous and act of mercy and Telio especially if we see a very good run from Paris Pike in the first okay moving to the fourth and uh, yeah in the fourth I think this is probably your best bet for the day at 2 to 1 on Quandary. Uh, yeah, also the 43 piece stats from 60 races. But the thing that I liked the most about this, Gavin van Sal's only runner for the day. He does have uh, consistency from the first run, third over the 800, then second over the 1200. He did a much better, uh, uh, oh, he did a, uh, not a much better, but a one and a half lengths better from an 800 step up to the 1200, 2.8 to 1.4. And if you look at the rest here, there is absolutely nothing close to 2.8 and 1.4, except for Sucker Gold here that does have a poly 2.9. But when you look at the turf, then it's a 17.93. So not sure if you will be able to repeat that on the turf today. But it did get a bit of support, 7 into 4, with straight on, on board on the poly over the shorter distance, the 1200 back and back on the grass. I'm not sure if you can repeat that. Um, which leads me to believe that this is the horse to beat, Quandary. It does have only runner for Gavin van Sale, and it does have the owners Gavin van Sale as well. Win place 25%, also strong. And Keegan the Mello intentions are shown with Brewer and Carty previously. Now there was some Port 74 as well, and almost pulled it off last time over the 1200 did make improvement from 800 to 1200 expecting to make a little bit more improvement from 12 to 1400 and uh, the next best is not not currently close enough from what's been shown uh, others to consider probably the Gareth on sale double after he wins the third um, on the 1400 year if he has hidden a little bit of form but interesting that Yen is jumping off and then uh, okay ish 14 poly Big support 6 into 1.8 with a 7.33 on Musket and Garden. Davies on the on, on the grass, so I would throw him into the pick six purely because he could actually be much better on the grass for that matter. Then Maserati Roar, Michael Miller, and Moodley's last for the day is done. Then 8.57 is okay on debut and uh, also had the 7.5 into 3.5 support on debut. Um, others to consider the blind, yeah, that was on the 1800 poly, got support and didn't pull off much difference. Uh, not really anything, and there's no first timers, so I don't think there'll be any other spooks apart from those ones. So if you want to go pick six, probably Quandary Banker or Quandary Captain of Green and Majestic Warrior, purely because he hasn't run on the turf. But I think that's your best bet for the day, Quandary. Moving on. To the fifth and in the fifth we start with peace that's only five 2200 meters not often they run that and of that five we're only looking at a 40 percent year on duke of africa only runner for frank robinson third run after arrest blinkers fitted uh so seems the intentions are there to perform but I wouldn't be surprised if Greenback Currency, with also some intention show, why are Mowing, Woodley, Pacifiers on Good Draw, Red Bats, Best Bat C, um, is also in there. And the other one for the double, Naidu has decent runners in 4 and 5, Dawn Mission um, being my next best. So looking at the details here, if I look at this Gravel 2 200, I'm sort of worried that Duke of Africa doesn't have turf form over the longer distances, but has definitely been running better over further. If you look at the 1200 year 12, then 19, 
in four, then a six, a six, and a nine. Um, but yeah, question mark, change to turf, don't know. Um, Dawn Mission 1900 was not good enough with a 15 bat year, and that 2000 with a 16 bat year in between a 1600 on the turf, a six bat, 1750, 18, and then going uh, going lower down here. You can see the, the 11th and a 25, so not all that great when it moves to 16. There is a little bit of a better bat figure, so it almost seems as if Dawn Mission is not really liking the extra. So will he be able to get up to 2,200? I'm not sure, but the data suggests that uh, it's not going to be easy. Then uh, Greenback Currency is one that suggests that he really likes the up in the in the distance. Was a 1200 did 11, the 1400 did a 10, 1600 did a 3.5. So don't leave him out with pacifiers now on and moodily being booked. Uh, the intentions are shown. So greenback currency and uh, the question mark of Duke of Africa is my first two choices. Uh, my third choice will probably still be Dawn Mission because of the Naidu double that seemed to be looking up. And then Rock 4 for Mr. Laff is my next best and then the stablemate temperate zone is my uh, next one for Mr. Laff as well. I don't see much else in that uh, in this race that could potentially upset so if you want to take a chance then just do Duke of Africa and Greenback currency if you want to be safe then Dawn Mission uh, Rockfall and temperate zone. Moving to the sixth race and in the sixth um, yeah, we have had nine P stat races. We have a 40% on a 44% to win chance on statistical form year, and that belongs to Chelsea Flower. And on top of that, we also have Chelsea Flower with a very decent red bats and the best bat C bat curve. So let's have a little bit of a look at this one. So uh, it's a 1900 gravel turf. And looking at oh so squishy, those are all poly 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 runs, and all those poly runs six, five, seven, ten, six, all decent. Then going to the grass year 12, 31, 24, 26, not so decent. Um Monashara you see has jumped up all the way to 106 and then uh, they moved it back and now it's back at a 90 or it's even less now, uh, 87. So yeah, it's now taking the blinkers off again, so maybe that's better off, but looking at the Grass form today is a 1900, so 1600 at 12, 2000 at 28, so it looked like the 1600 was nicer, but there 2000 with a 17 as well, so that's decent, and there 2000 with another 17, so that's also decent, and therefore Monashara has to be included in your pick six at 10 to 1. Chelsea Flower is the one with a P stats 44%. He does get the intentions clear with Keegan the Mello retaining the right after running second with him on. At 12 to 1, the previous run. That second, also the best bat, 1.82 in the field. So let's see if he does like the further. And if we look further down here, yeah, the 2000 was a 17, and the 1950 year was not good, 30, and the 1950 year was a 19. So yeah, he he has a question mark on whether the 1900 will actually work for him, but. I'm almost going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's won on the poly over the 2000 and he does show the intentions of booking Keegan de Mielo, um after Keegan ran second on him the last time. Potentially Keegan could have said, hey, he needs a little bit further. So I'll stick him in as my first choice with Oso Squishy second and then Monashara third and then probably Electric Surge. Again, we're looking at Hill. So Robbie Hill pops up three times in his three chances today so do watch him uh his 2000 turf form here there's a uh, gray or poly is a 17 that was not good that was not good that was not good that was decent uh, 19 and then the 3247 then 31 and 24 so that's going to be uh yeah not it's not a probable but uh, just watch his uh, other runners for the day how they do first if this if the, the stable is informed today Bella Sakom, Lafferty and Yeni, the Turf 11 is pretty good, um, but the 19 Poly is a 30, 
and uh, yeah the 16 was back to a 14 so maybe it's a little bit too far for him today uh, but it does get Yeni again and Yeni yeah Yeni failed on him last time seventh uh, Southern Cape the other Lafferty runner yeah it's difficult to assess it doesn't have anything standing out really and then Desert Rose at the end Gareth on sale books McGoodlewire yeah. uh, but he also has to show a little bit more in my opinion I'm going to have a Chelsea Flower, Oso Squishy, Mona Shara, and then Electric Search. Probably those four will probably get you enough for the pick six. Moving to the second last runner of the day, race of the day. <clears throat> and it's normally the reconciliation leg of the jackpot and pick six. So, always a bit of caution there. Um, and here we have quite a few decent enough runners that shouts to have a chance. The first thing that I see that is quite appealing to me is the bat figures here flashing on bum roll 84 168 bum c bat 42 84 bat 168 um, so that's quite a bit and the greeny points the highest in the field 10 and if I look at the 42 days it's uh, first by 2.07 and then Gazala Gallup now got scratched so the next best is, is gun smoke four links behind and then uh, Ricardo uh, five links behind so that I like the uh, bat 84 the same bat uh, 168 the same and on the bat curve side the Zala Gallup is gone so the top one is uh, Kitschakal uh, that's a spring chickle and his third run with the Mielo intentions book and the line bat horse so it does have a respect from me um, and also Rolf the Rascal which does have the last or second runner for Alison Wright with the Binkus again and the best exact course exact distance run under the belt as well and then we have what I have as a slight first choice for me Garth Puller did win the last two races the last time here and Garth Puller has part many on here at 14 to 1 so Gravel 1400 he started here with a 12 Gravel at 17 then a 12 Gravel again at 12 16 Scottsville 21 and then Polly was a 6 a 7 and a 2 now first question for me is whether whether he could do those also on the turf race and uh, if that is a yes then he's definitely in here with a shot he's in here with a with a chance and uh, looking at Serena Moodley's runners here he got uh, he, he got off the horse here when he ran the third um, in a mini feature and now he's interested again he jumps on again so slight preference for me first choice palm minion second choice is then uh that, but the question mark remains on the if we can do these poly figures on the grass as well second choice for me is uh probably going to be rolf the rascal because he's got the best bad cd and the best total overall ranking blinkers fitted rachel vinnikov taking the weight off the back uh but he has done better on the uh, poly second second on the poly then uh, not so good on the turf but yeah since there's only two for Alison Wright today uh, I think we'll try and then yeah the rest is uh, third choice is Kitschakal for me Duncan Howells has only got three for the day Keegan gets the right again got this the, the win last time 1200 not as great the bat 11 but could be improving over the further so I'm going to have to throw in Kitcher Cole as well uh, yeah Wigan Warrior the two figures is shown a 15 and a 20 uh, yeah not really all that great for me uh, because that 1400 Scottsdale was a 15 versus Kitcher Cole 1200 Scottsdale is 11 and a 6 so uh, I'm not so keen on the favorite here from a 10 draw uh, what else can I look at is a uh, black white dynamite decent on the poly and again on the poly uh, not so great on the turf gun smoke poly poly as well not so great on the turf Zala is now scratched blue planets not have showed me much to date but does get betting support all the time and who knows what happened from the 28th of November to to now 
a year later. So it could be anything really, maybe throw him into your uh, exotics as well, because he could have improved a lot and Carl Hewitson's got some decent runners for us today. So looking at figures here, Gunsmoke's poly form, not, uh, uh, but not grass. Uh, Winter waves, also that flash on the poly. Kitschakal looks pretty decent on those two runs so far, and he's probably the one with the biggest improvement since he's uh, only running his third run and does get Keegan the Miller. So he, I definitely have to consider. Captain Seeger's last run was decent with Muzigeni on, but it was on the poly. Uh, so, yeah, if Parminian can do the 2.07 or the 7 or the 6 that he did here on the poly, uh, if he can repeat that on the grass today, He's a very decent runner at a very decent price. Uh, then my next is probably Kitsch Akal and Rolf the Rascal, followed by Ricardo. Uh, that's the way I, I see that race panning out. As I say, it's a tough race, it's an open race, so do add things like Blue Planet here in your pick six as well. Um, then we move on to the lucky last. You can see the P stats is 20% is the highest, so that's not very great. Ricardo here on form, 20% uh, and EDMS, uh, exact distance, medium speed, is actually winter waves, which is not showing much on the bat, except for the very last 10. Maybe throw him in your pick six as well. He's done three winners of the last four, and one of them was on the grass. So maybe throw him in as well, but it does look like Mr. Moodley is on Parminian, which was here on Winter Wave, so now he's on Parminian. Interesting. Okay, moving to the very last. I'm sorry for it taking so long, but uh, this is for you guys to pause it a race by race if that's going to help you. Hopefully, that will help you. Moving to the last race, and here we have 30 P stats races, and the highest percentage goes to the 33%. On opening betting and that opening betting goes to what I believe the other golf puller Petit Verdot if Parminian is the previous one Petit Verdot here flashes on bat C the best in the field interesting if I look at bat C consistency we've got Petit Verdot and then the newcomer Holly's fate and then there she goes and then a huge gap to the next best potentially that's my three that I would really be interested in in my pick six in this race. So let's see what I can 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 try and understand here. Yeah, the first thing that pops up is this weight figure here of 51 kilos. I like that. Now, and that's why we end up with uh, there she goes. It's very close to a greenie. 14. It needs 15. Total point 65 to 42. Bat figures. Amazing. For a 14 to 1 shot, it's four lengths better than the Kia and then Aisling Bella Bandiera, the next best. So, something I really would consider. Let's look at the detail here. Okay, so 1200 gravel turf. Last run was Kati, Aris, Aris, Zaki, Peters, uh, Larina, Zaki, Mariba, Mariba van Rensburg. Hey, hello, Mr. Kacheri. Minus four off the back, 33% win and place ratio. Uh, and that's what brings him into the reckoning here with some serious bat figures. The second thing I noticed is there was a support 20 to 16 the previous 1200 year in yielding conditions, and he did run that 5.7 bat on that. Uh, and then he improved the next one on the 1,000 meters, a little bit uh, shorter, 2.73. So holding that 2.7 and 5 in our memory, uh, if I look further down at 2.7 and a 5, I don't see further down much. There's Nakia on that 6, but that's on the poly. Uh, and then there is the 10 here from Petit Verdot, but probably will improve because it's only his second run. There's nothing further there, there's nothing further there, or there, or there. So, in the lucky last, I am going to say 14 to 1 looks very decent on there she goes. And uh, I'll also be looking out for Petit Verdot for the double on Perminion. In the previous, Petit Verdot was a very well-supported horse previous time and did win. Could potentially have had more in the tank and does have a two-draw today and does have... Uh, Mr. Serino Muli again. 
So Nakia, if Nakia does that on, on grass, she has a shot but hasn't shown that on grass. N retail, February, fe retail therapy has a 9.85 on the, on the uh, poly year and a 17 on the turf. And there's a 10 and an 8 on Bella Bandiera. And with the Lengas 4 kilos off the back and some betting support previously, he's not too far off either. Um, Holly's Fate is the favorite. Now, a few questions here for me for Holly's Fate, the favorite. The first time, the first one would be it, it started at 33 to 1 on debut and won. Now, it's uh, wonderful that it won on debut, but can't be the favorite next time out over the extra 200 meters further. Uh, I don't think Lightning hits twice, but maybe it does. So, uh, I'm going to go with 14 to 1. There she goes. As my top rated, it is a red horse. Now, what we said earlier on about the red horses is uh, look at that 85 all the way to a 69 or 64 now, so that's 21 points or 10 and a half kilos off, plus another four kilos is 14 and a half kilos off the back. On there she goes. So, there you go to the bank and collect. Uh, yeah, second choice would be uh, Petit Verdot for that double with Parminion in the previous one. And then probably something like Bella Bandiera, Holly's Fate Retail Therapy as the next runners. And uh, I don't see much else uh, on the turf form. Aisling improved on Polly. So, yeah, I don't think he should win this. And uh, looking at collateral forms here at the bottom, I did like the swap from, look at the, like Swiss Bank, for instance, from a 56 to 55. There she goes from a 60 to a 51. That's that's a nine and a half kilo drop for that three lengths. So yeah, um, there she goes. Is definitely very well weight suited in this race. Look at this race, regional therapy. It's poly 60 to 58, 57 to 51. So that three lengths is a huge uh, swing in the weight with a six and a half drop and only a two drop is four and a half drop for that three lengths there on retail therapy. Uh, if, where did I else did I see? No. So, yeah. So for me, a little bit of a value bet there. There she goes. Uh, a little bit less of a value bet for me as uh, Parminium because I don't like the last place of the jackpot. And then here is probably Chelsea Flower also squishing Monashara Electric Surge. Uh, race 5 is yeah probably Duke of Africa my first choice by Greenback Currency because Mowing also finishes with there she goes. The best bet is Quandary with backup of Captain of the Green and Majestic Warrior. And uh, third race is in a Kale and Green Chelly. The two Gareth on Sale horses for me is the first choice. But uh, I'd watch out for Tilio here with Robbie Hill and Active Mercy and Fabulous. Second race, Agressivo is my first choice. I'll watch out for Kashkawal and Global Dollar. And the first race, I would think Mtombo Wawazi should win, but I'm worried that he showed that huge improvement in one race, so he could just, that could just have been a fluke. Uh, and therefore, Paris Pike uh, is the one that I would be interested in from support on debut. And then Eugenie. Improvement expected only Kanemeyer and can't catch me stable change must get with support lost That's it guys. I hope it wasn't too long, but uh, yeah, have a great day